Welcome back to Below the Surface. Today, we're diving on the RMS Atlantis. The Atlantis was just sunk in June 29th of this year, so it's only been under the surface for about three months, almost three months exactly to the day of making this video. As you can see, it's already got a lot of fish on it. And of course, I'm out here with Shark Quest, diving on all these awesome shipwrecks. Down in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the grid coordinates if you guys want to find this wreck yourself. It's 125 foot long. It sits about 8 miles south of the Destin Pass in about 80 feet of water. It's an awesome little wreck. It's going to be fun to dive. As you can see there's a lot of swim throughs in it. It's pretty open. Right now I'm going down the stairs. And then once you go down the stairs you can either go out through the port side hatch or you can turn south and go to the stern side. And then it comes right out at the back. Pretty fun little dive. So only being down for three months, it doesn't have a lot of growth on it yet, but it's starting to get there. We did find one lionfish on this wreck and a whole lot of AJs. Here's the exit at the stern of the ship. It's really open, so if you're comfortable with it, you can swim through it for now. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe on the channel. It helps support the channel, helps support me. Every like and subscribe that I get increases the algorithm for YouTube. And they start pushing my content. And the more they do that, the more videos I can make. So don't forget to do it. All right, check out these guys. Just having a little bit of fun with them. They love the green laser. And for only being down for three months, it's still a good ship for uh, some spearing opportunities. So if you guys are into spear fishing, this is gonna be a good one to be on. And if you're up on the surface just fishing, Drop a 100 gram jig on this thing, jig it around. There's not a whole lot of entanglement hazards. And I can't leave you guys without spearing some lionfish. So let's check out the Phoenix Barge. I got one little special spot that I like to go into. You gotta drop down into the ship. But there's this little culvert. Ooh, you gotta watch out for those guys. Little fireworms. Those things will tear you up. With this little culvert, usually holding a little bit of live fish. This time, just one, but he's a decent sized one, and I'm gonna get him out. Now you guys have seen me on the Phoenix Barge before, and I've pulled out quite a few lionfish. Today we didn't find a lot. In the sake of lionfish, that's a good thing. And the ones that we did find, they're tucked away pretty good. They've been hunted a little bit. Now this guy, he was up under this piping. I had to get on my back, feet are up in the air, and he kept going back and forth. And I edited this out. I played this game with this guy for about five minutes. But eventually I won. And now I just gotta make my way out. Pretty tight fit. And the boat starts deteriorating around me. But I make it out. Got that one too. And on my way out, we see our resident Goliath Grouper. You're always almost guaranteed to see him inside the Phoenix. And I started doing a little outro scene after the video, so you guys stick around and let me know down in the comments if you guys like it or not. See if I keep it around. But for now, I'm going up. All right, you guys, thanks for watching my latest episode. That was RMS Atlantis and the Phoenix Barge. Both really cool wrecks. Of course, the Phoenix Barge has been down for a while. RMS Atlantis, only for a few months. And I'm really excited to see what that one looks like in a couple years when it's been down for a while. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I definitely appreciate you guys. And if you just watched, 
for a little while, I appreciate you too. There's a lot of stuff that's in the works for Destin. So guys, keep watching because there's might be a really cool shipwreck that they're about to put down. And hopefully you guys will see it here first. Down in the description, I will leave Shark Quest information. I'll also leave the website for Okaloosa County if you want to get on there and check out what they have planned out. And then I'm also going to leave all the descriptions of everything that I use um, with my Amazon affiliate link. If you guys hit those links and you buy it from there, I get a little bit of kickback and that's cool. But if you guys just want to go out and buy it on your own, um, I also recommend going to your local dive shop and supporting those guys because I would rather support a dive shop than support Amazon. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.